All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna build ourselves a new worm bin. And this is what we're gonna use. Um, it's been about a year since I built my other one. And you know what, it actually broke. Um, it's just the weight of the castings were so heavy. Um, it's just broke in the middle. And so I figured, you know what, it's just time to build a new one anyways. And it'll be my third different design. And I think we got it down now. I think this is uh, this is where it's at. This is where it's going to stop. They're roughneck 10 gallon totes. You need two of them. And we're only going to be using one lid right here. You're going to need a drill. You need some window screen. You got a uh, three quarter inch paddle bit. This one is a uh, quarter inch drill bit and a hot glue gun and it's really cool the way it's gonna work let me take this down and sort of uh, explain it here really fast it's really simple and I think that is why it's gonna work so well but if you notice these handles right here they drop down about a half inch take this one, the lid off of that and we're, we're gonna take this tote and just drill a whole bunch of little holes with our drill bit and we're just gonna set it right inside this one and you can see that it rests right on top there when we got it fully pressed in and it's gonna weigh quite a bit when it's got a ton of castings in there so you can see it's resting right on there and the way I found out, you know, how much room is in there is pretty simple. I mean, you could just measure right there, but just so you can get a better idea, it's about this much, almost two inches. And that, that should be plenty of room for the, uh, for the liquid that, you know, the runoff and all that that you're going to get from putting in your, from putting in your food scraps. So. I just threw those in there like that. And you can see. And right there. So that should be perfect. And what we're going to do with the paddle bit is just right on this edge, we're going to put one on each end and one in the middle. And then one here, one there. We'll do that around. That'll give us 10 air holes. And we're just going to cover those with the screen. And we cover the screen by uh, using hot glue gun. It's really simple. It's really fast. And um, for the worms, we uh, I'm actually going to do another video um, harvesting um, my other bin. And... Uh, I think you guys are really going to appreciate this one too because just the look, the size of it is just so compact. It's so nice. Um, we, I leave mine in the laundry room. So something like this, it's just going to look like storage. It's going to really blend in well. You're not going to know it's got worms in it. But, um, it, you know, and the other one was a 20-gallon bin that I was working with, a tote. And it had a 10-gallon like this on the bottom to catch all the the liquid there and I think we can do the same thing with half the size two tens so we're gonna give it a shot so be right back and uh, heads up for that worm casting uh, harvest video alright so we got the stickers off and we're ready to drill some holes doesn't have to look pretty just gonna be all around the bottom here Alright, so I did most of my holes inside this little groove here, 
And uh, so the only other place that would act like a channel to hold water would be in the edges, in the corners. Um, so I'm going to drill a couple holes in each one and maybe one here as the water would kind of, you know, go down into these, act like a, like a moat type of thing. So we don't need to drill any up here, just inside the grooves. Maybe one in the middle. And now all these holes, they're going to be inside the other tote, so it doesn't matter. Nothing's going to leak on the floor. We just don't want that liquid to build up in there. So that's pretty much, uh, <laughs> it's halfway, it's a halfway point. The hard work is done. Alright, so we finished drilling all the holes for the inside. So we want to get our bottom tote. It's going to catch all the liquid. Put the top one in there. Push it down real good. And we want to make sure that the handle is right on the top of that other tote on both sides. And once we, once we do that, turn on its side and we want to get the pad a bit, three quarter inch. And we're just going to eyeball it. And if you look down right here, it's going to kind of pick where the middle is. And I'm going to put my thumb just, just a little bit up from the lip here. That's my gap. I try to center it between the top here and the bottom of this. And it looks pretty good. We look almost like we're in the middle there. And just go slow. And we'll have an air hole here in a minute. So there we go, nine more to do. All right, so we finished drilling out our holes here. Let me show you. Looking good. Total of 10. Let's throw that in there, show you what it looks like. Put it down nice and snug, and there we go. Oh, it's getting a little blurry, there we go. So you can see we got three on either side, and two on the ends. We're going to go ahead and uh, cut some screen here, some of this window screen, and we're just going to cover those holes with the high glue gun. So I'll be back when I cut 10 pieces of screen. Alright, so we cut out 10 of these window screens, little squares, we're going to use the hot glue gun and I'm just going to uh, glue them over the holes. Let me show you how we do that. I just put a little circle around it yeah just stick it on real quick doesn't have to look pretty tack it on and I've add a little bit more on the second time around I'll come back one more here. <laughs> there we go, something like that. All right, so we finished up. Got the screen hot glue gun over all the holes. Let's see, there we go, focused on that. I just got to clean up a little bit of the hot glue gun. It gets a little stringy. Uh, we got our holes drilled on the bottom. Gonna set just like that into our other one. And we got our lid. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write the date on there. Always good to label things. All right, we're just gonna make a label. It's 
Today is the 27th. Put a big S for when we started it. There you go. How about that? Pretty good. Pretty good. So now we're just going to throw some worms in it, and uh, that'll be after I make the harvesting video. Going to go ahead and uh, start it off with some really happy worms. You know what? Let me show you the other one too, just to uh, show you a comparison real quick. All right, so here's the one we just made. It's two 10-gallon roughneck totes, and you saw we got the holes in there. Let me show you what I had before. There's a 10-gallon on the bottom, and it's a 20-gallon roughneck on top. And you see, started on December 2nd, 2011. Man, my camera is really acting up today. But let me show you the difference here. I mean, that's pretty... That's pretty small compared to this one here. But I'm using this whole thing just for liquid, which is the same thing here. And then this has the worms and the castings go to about right here. And this is just all air. And I know we need that air to flow. But I'm still thinking I could do more with this and still get that ventilation in here and have just the same amount of, of worms and castings. So we're going to try it out. I think this is the ticket. We'll go ahead and harvest out of this big one here in a little bit and uh, see what we get. <laughs> I guess we gotta wait about a year to compare to this one. But uh, no, I'm hoping to turn a lot more compost out of the small one, use it faster, and uh, just make it easier, easier to manage. So we'll see. That's how to make a worm bin.